<clears throat> Mike was muted the whole time. Great. So I am trying to build the propellers. I'm not sure if this is big enough for it, but I'm gonna see if it is. So yes. You know, I wonder of how many of my uh, how many of my viewers actually know what this is supposed to be. If you if you can uh, uh what, what you might call it. If you can either guess or know what this is or what is this supposed to be, then huge props for you. Whoever you are. Because I know I know there's a lot, there's a, a lot of people who who don't even know that this ship even existed. Or like I think I know of people, or know people who don't know what this ship is. Mistakes. So it's much fun. But okay then, come on. <laughs> See stuff like that kinda annoys me. Now I don't build a lot of huge build like like builds like these. I don't build them too often or too frequently. Because they're just a massive headache. <laughs> no pun intended, but literally, I don't build huge ass builds like these. Anytime, like when I'm bored or just you know want to do something cool, I decide to build stuff like this. As for Corey, he built. Uh, as for Corey, if you guys know who my uh, good friend Corey. Uh, you can check out you can check out his channel on YouTube if you want. But the thing is, uh, back then Corey used to build like life size like life size uh, pixel like pixel arts, and I thought back then like those were really cool. Like I was like I called my I called him crazy for building stuff like that because. Those take like so much hours and days upon like building that. I mean, it was worth it because it was really cool. And then <laughs> you call me a maniac because I'm trying to build this, which I completely understand because this thing is honestly freaking huge. And. If you're if you're gonna be the people who told me that I didn't you know I didn't do all the work you know I didn't do all the work by myself I'm oh, I'm taking all the credit that's because I did I did build this alone build it from scratch then build it to where it's at now well of course I have like you know a couple of hands helping me out a bit but mostly but mostly this ship's uh work was mostly done by me. No, I'm not saying I'm not a freaking expert build it, like builder or person who just builds big ass builds like these, like really cool builds. Well, because obviously I wouldn't build something like this, like by myself or like with like zero knowledge of building. So of course I have to look up tutorials and crap. But I'm not gonna say which tutorial I use to build this because honestly it just it boggles my mind just to see one person well 
it was a to be fair it was a very old old tutorial like I'm talking like 2015 or like 2014 like builds it was just an old tutorial on, on like it was on the Xbox 360 I think it was at the time where like there wasn't like even like the aquatic update there wasn't like shields nothing it was just bare bones Minecraft well, of course, they had, like, everything in creative mode and survival, but it was just, like, a build that I was, uh, you know, at when I was, like, st still playing Minecraft back then. But still. Oh, yeah, and also, it was, like, kind of, like, Minecraft was kind of under fire in 2015. That's why there was, like, a lot of let's builds and stuff. But I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know all that because I don't. I'm just building this and hopefully I can make some uh, entertainment. Honestly, I don't know what kind of person w would find entertainment of seeing a person build something that's supposed to be like a rep or like a replica. <clears throat> like a replica of some, um, something in real life and just talk about certain things well I mean if you find this entertaining then you you obviously you obviously got to be tired or just crazy in general but and also another one is if you like my content if I'm not saying you do, but if. Then, if you do, then I appreciate it. Because I haven't freaking posted in like two months and then a week. Well, I posted that one uh, video that's saying that I'm back from two months video. That was kind of like a intermission or just uh, saying, hey, okay, I'm just saying like. This video is basically saying, hey, um, well, I'm not quitting YouTube or just, you know, dead or anything. I just said, I, I was just saying, like, I had to do some stuff and, you know, just hang out with my family. Because, of course, that's kind of, that's pretty important. But at the same time, I just wanted to relax, you know, a bit. Because the thing was, I don't have, like, ideas all the time. I don't craft ideas. I'm not that creative. Any, I'm not that creative as I used to be when I first started my channel. It was like... It's because I was kind of excited of the thought of me being, like, of me being on public presence, like, public online presence. Especially, like, on a platform that I'm familiar with. But then again, when I get more more into the uh, YouTube grind, then it starts to, uh, you know, wear you down a bit, where you literally feel like you lost all your creativity. Like, oh man, I just, dang, I don't know, I can't. Like, you just see, like, you just see the number of like two months, like you haven't posted a video until two months. I'm like, oh man, I'm just gonna. You just think, you just think like it's the end of the world for you because you haven't posted in like two months, three months, freaking almost a year or something like that. Then you, you just feel like you just lost your flow, or you just lost your creativity, and then, and then you're just afraid that your viewers won't come back, like, and, and like, like you're just afraid to take like long, long breaks because, like your viewers and subscribers just subscribe for one reason and view the video for a reason because they find the content content either interesting either like they find it interesting funny uh awesome or just straight up just either weird or just sat satisfying i guess i don't i don't freaking know the ratings i'm just spewing out like nonsense at this point because I'm just building this and I'm just talking about how like I'm coming back to YouTube again 
and just uh, try to post a bit more frequently considering that it's weird because I didn't expect it expect at least getting some sort of uh, like man I don't I don't know how to describe it it's just something that just happens I guess it's like when you start it's like, it's like when you start something and then like you don't expect to uh, like you just don't expect to how do you call it um, I think I guess being noticed or just have people that enjoy something that you do and he's like it's like when you're trying to share something with people and then like you realize that they like it and they and you feel good about it yeah you feel good about yourself because you shared something that someone else likes too but then it gets to a point when people like multiple people like you're starting to get like those larges are starting to get like larger then you start to realize that pe people really like your thing you know like your thing that you sh that you wanted to share video it could be videos hobbies uh just techniques or training or anything it could be basically anything propaganda even though that's I don't talk about pro propaganda but if you want to share something public like publicly then you gotta have like really freaking you gotta have confident like confidence or something like that because if you don't have confidence in something then you might expect some uh, like sloppy results but it's okay because all the time you don't have to be a confident person to share something that you like to do for example because I was kind of nervous like when I started my like my YouTube channel because I, I didn't know what people like I didn't I didn't know if someone like either likes my content or just completely flats out freaking hates it but so far I'm just receiving positive feedback which is you know relieving but as you know the more you grow and the more you develop and stuff then the, there is bound to have some uh, negative side effects or just negative just uh, what you may call it um, let's call it you know bad effects or bad remarks or something like that because something just something just wouldn't be a thing if it didn't have bad things right it could be a good thing if it didn't have bad things right so ye like the more like the more you uh, become successful at something then you're bound to have like setbacks Eventually, you learn. You will learn from those setbacks. But if it's like, but if your setbacks are on the internet, then it's not going to be as uh, easy. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say easy. I'm just saying it'll be repetitive and just dumb. Cause the setbacks could be just some stupid person just saying, uh, just really, really bad stuff. Because it's the internet here. There is no moral or boundaries on here. People can do whatever they want, say whatever they want, and then just go along with their freaking online experience. Because this is the internet, man. It's not like... There's no laws here. There's nothing. People can do whatever they want. Just do freaking God knows what. Whatever, man. Is the internet? No one's safe here, especially, especially when, especially when you have Area 51 memes coming out now. Speaking of Area 51, like I wonder, I wonder what's happening now, cause I'm starting to see videos like in my suggestions from YouTube saying, uh, like, me about like Area 51 memes saying that what if what like what if the population 
of uh, the U.S. started to, uh, you know, like, overcome or just, you know, just overpower every 51. Just, like, everyone just surrounded and just goes in and... I don't know. It's just people. Just, people on the internet just find something just to you know joke around, or just to joke about, or just say something about like as a, in a joking matter. Like it could be like not, like it could be like freaking disasters like from terrorist attacks like 9/11 freaking uh, Titanic or something some bull crap like that. People just find some way just to make, like, make, like, politician or just, uh, so, so, something, like, something that's controversial and just makes that crap into a, a whole flat-out joke. Like, people, like, people be calling Donald Trump a freaking Cheeto ball or just a orange, like, just an orange in a suit. I mean, well, yeah, because it's the internet. No one's safe from the internet. And... That's when morals fly out the window, and that's when people, and that's what would happen when people literally have no laws or morals or boundaries. Kind of like a a safe version of the purge, you know. What I'm saying like everything is completely legal on the internet just for like 24 hours or some. I don't, f mm. I don't know, something like that. Just. People just post whatever they want, say whatever they want, and then they won't have to feel bad about it because they said it on the internet. And the, inter and the internet is, on, is a kind of a predictable place, like a predictable thing to know what might happen because uh, people are bound to find things that they can joke around about. And once they joke around about for about like two days or about a week, then people start to uh, jump on the uh, ch jump on the paddy wagon, just to, uh, you know, just to mess around a bit too. And that's when memes starts to get out of control. <laughs> a meme is dank when it's f it's smart, well done, well made, and hilarious. That's a dank meme. But when a dank meme gets, you know, freaking people keep saying it over and over and over and over again, it's just gonna be the same re repetition over and over again. It's gonna be annoying, and that's and, and that's when the meme loses dankness. It's not dank no more because people keep just saying it over and over and over again until eventually it dies, and then people can people in the future can try to revive them. <laughs> Internet's a strange place. I'd seen some things that I didn't even think existed. Cause I think I think at least like like one of my viewers at least been on a weird side of YouTube at least once or once or twice. Because I've been there and Honestly, I either scared the shit out of myself or just straight up just just straight up just got weirded out. Oh, whoops, had let me to do that. Oh my god. How long is this dream going on for? Hold on. Okay, so this stream has been going on for 21 minutes. Okay, I just needed to check. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, if you go on the weird side of YouTube, don't expect to be safe because there's a lot of weird things that I've seen in my time. That uh, just either it's flat out confusing, creepy, disturbing, 
or just straight up hilarious. Whatever it comes with you, like whatever it is, it could be it could be funny to you, disturbing, creepy, or just flat out weird. I think flat out weird and funny is a perfect where is a perfect way for me to describe how the weird side of YouTube is. But then, the, but then there's just those channels who just doesn't serve as a significant purpose, just to unsettle the person that's watching their content. Like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'm not sure if you know this one guy. Well, I don't know his like full channel name, but he goes by the name of Benjamin or something like that. And. He makes his videos, like very long videos, like long live streams of him just sitting down, like on the floor, like on a pillow or something, or just on the floorboard, just sitting there, looking at the camera, and smiling. Yeah, you heard it. You heard it. Just some random freaking dude, like probably like in his late 20s, just sitting down on the floor, staring at a camera, smiling. For about like 12 hours or something like that. Can you imagine that? You, you like you just like like home alone or something like you just like home, and then and then you just had this crazy idea just to sit like in front of a camera for like 12 hours or something like that. Just look at a camera and just smile. Like like you can blink and stuff, but. There's no just there's nothing else. Like you can't like pass gas, you can't burp, you can't like sneeze or anything. Yawn, stretch, do er anything that a average human do. Just, just just basically do the mannequin challenge at that point for 12 hours. This man is crazy. So he just decided to sit there and just stare at a camera. And then just hopes to get something out of it. I mean, they did get a lot of views. I mean, at least they did something good for the guy. They did get a lot of views. Only because people just have a weird curiosity to check out this man's content. Because, uh... I mean, I would say it's interesting in a you know, like in a unsettling way. I I'd actually I'd actually uh, I watched it. I watched the whole stream. Nothing changed at all. N like absolutely nothing changed at all. The guy was still sitting there, being freaking creepy. Just nothing. He just sat there. Honestly, it kind of freaked me out of how that guy literally was... He literally just became a mannequin and then just turned human again. He's like an alien that just sits there. Like... You gotta have, like, the biggest... Like, you gotta have, like, the biggest patience. And, like, meditate... Like, you gotta have the patience. The balance to do that. Guys, imagine like you're sharing a room, like you're like you're sharing like an apartment like with a roommate, and then you just see them sitting, and you just sitting like, you just see them in their bedroom, like on like on the floor, just sitting there looking at a camera, just smiling at it, and just staring at it. Just just imagine you you're just walking in your apartment and you see that. Like, what would the person's reaction would be? Personally, my reaction would probably be like, I'll probably you know try to get a reaction out of them, or something like that. And then if if they just sit if they just sit there like a freaking mindless zombie, then I might just uh, leave leave the apartment for a bit. You know, take a walk. 
because I have no idea what I just freaking witnessed. <laughs> it's, it's borderline creepy and weird. Because <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody sits there in front of a camera and smile. Like, like, is that an actual practice or something? Is that an actual thing where the person just sits there for like a 12 hour straight in front of a camera? Like, like, is, is that an actual thing? Like an exercise? Because if it is, then that's probably like one of the most creepiest things I've ever seen. Like, hands down, the most disturbing, creepy freaking thing I've ever seen. Hey, I mean, I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine with creepy stuff, but yo. But if it's something like that, I can't even begin to uh, imagine. <sighs> Man. This is f fucking weird. Hold on, is that good or bad? I don't even. No, dude, that, that's that's fucking horrible. Okay, uh, do I need to make it larger or sh smaller? Let's try to make it like this. Hold on. Let's try one block. Sorry, because all this rambling about that one dude. I can literally, I can talk about, I can talk about him for like hours upon hours of how disturbing he is. I mean, he, he he's a, he's, he's a typical average person, but fucking hey, man, that's just that's creepy. That's creepy of how he does his techniques and crap. It's just freaky. Okay, so. That's not how it looks. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna build like one more layer to see how it is. Build one more layer. Oh gosh, my stomach hurts. Wait, I think the guy's name was Benjamin. I said Facebook. I call I call this dude Benjamin. I'm fucking done. Okay, I think his name is either like Benjamin Bennett. Yeah, Benjamin Ben. Ben. <clears throat> English properly, please. Benjamin Bennett. I think that, that that's his name. I'm not sure if he still does YouTube or is still active, but I know he stopped his uh his uh I know he stopped his sitting and smiling uh live streams because uh, this man. I think one time I even called him a psychopath. Cause never in my life I'd, I'd ever think of just sitting there on the floorboard, just staring at my camera for like at least 24 or 12 hours, or something crazy long like that. Cause never in my life, bro. I, I don't even want to see that happen, dude. Oh, excuse me. That's just borderline creepy. But eh, it's his content. I can't really control him. I can't really 
heavily criticize this man because I'm a small content creator and my opinion barely even stands for anything but it's just my opinion I'm not saying it's true I'm just saying you know from my point of view I just think it's creepy and weird you know so, some, some, some other people might find it peaceful people might find it peaceful or relaxing or satisfying yeah you never know what people might uh, criticize people's content for hey, you guys might criticize you guys might criticize uh, this content as either boring satisfying relaxing and man, I don't know man from what I've seen I think I think my content is just more like for funny moments cuz I have freaking like I have like a wheeze montage a rage mont like a rage touch and crap just all funny you know on fun giggly moments with my friends that's just basically it but not like I really look I really wouldn't recommend watching my old streams because my old streams are they're just bad but if you like them then I appreciate it but I might call you a little weird for liking that content actually no that's kind of a little unnecessary I'm pretty sure that you're a lovely person and I didn't mean any I didn't mean any offense or any you know I didn't mean any offensive comment by that statement I'm just saying that that kind of, that content is mm, that's that's bad that's cringy man for me well obviously I know how you hear like content creators saying like oh this old content no nah, bro that's freaking garbage man but in that time they thought their content was pretty good it actually was but in the future they're gonna call their old content garbage because they don't have the uh, the advancements like like quality or just like quality like, uh, like quality and like good you know atmosphere and aspect of the video because uh like back then they had just like pretty like pretty garbage cameras like that thing can only focus for like 360p but since we got the good but since we uh like uh like the higher up youtubers or just uh you know like popular youtubers that has like over like million subscribers and crap they have like they have cameras that even go to 1080 like 1080p like that's probably like the best like quality that, that you're ever gonna get out of a like video like 10 like 1080p is probably like the best like 1080p is the best okay so I'm gonna see if this is a uh, good enough wait, oh, wait so where's the metal somewhere like that right metal yes no maybe so fuck dude I don't know okay so let's do okay so let's go with this oh, like night vision Let's go a bit bigger. Okay. 
Okay, well, no. That's... Huh. How about... Hmm. That fucking scared me. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Hmm. Let's make this a bit wider. Hmm. Let's see that from a distance. Mm, yeah. mm, that's 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 a, that's a little too fat. Oh wait, hold on. I have a I have a better idea. Okay, hold on. Let's try. Let's try this. Hmm. I wonder what the. Oh my! I'm a freaking moron. I. Oh my gosh! I am beyond stupid. Let's go like this. Okay. 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 Somewhere like this. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make... Mmm. That's... That, yo, that's fucking hard, man. Bruh. That's fucking hell. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna continue this. Well, I'm gonna do this someday off camera. And hope and my and I might uh, update or put a screenshot or something like that of my progress of this. Cause honestly, I've never been I've never been close to seeing this thing in real life, nor actually seeing like really really detailed good pictures. Of uh, the propellers. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just gonna save the game right here. I'm gonna save it before anything else happens. Because I have problems where the game crashed, or my PS4 just turns off, or just stupid stuff like that. Just m like major setbacks. So, if you guys don't, if you guys didn't uh, guess or know what the name of this ship is. It's called uh, H. Okay, it's called HMHS Britannic. It's the uh, it's the uh, third. It's the third and final uh, ship of the Olympic class, and the youngest ship of the of the three sisters. RMS RMS Titanic and Olympic. Well, I mean, if you were curious, then. There you go. But if you weren't curious, then I guess I'll go fuck myself. Well, it's not the best design. It's somewhat good. Well, most of my feedback are positive. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed uh, this portion of the stream. Because we're going to be switching games.